This week in AI, ChatGPT agents can now complete entire workflows. Google is doubling down on AI in India, and Alibaba just dropped a 480 billion parameter open source model. Hi, this is Kush, and in the next few minutes, I'll break down what happened this week in AI and why it matters to you and how you can use it to its maximum potential. Let's get in. So the ChatGPT agent officially rolled out this week for Plus and Team users. Unlike GPT-4.0 and all of the previous models, this version can both research your queries and even act on its own. That means you can now ask it to complete full workflows like compare flight prices and book tickets, fill forms, generate a proposal and send the email, scrape job boards and organize 50 listings into a Notion table. Behind the scenes, it uses a virtual computer, which is basically a sandbox computing environment with all the tools. And the browser inside is, is powered by deep search. So it extracts specific information from web pages with high reliability. You can actually watch it, click through websites, open files, write code, and track every step. It performed well on multi-step benchmarks like Browse Comp, which is 68.9%, and DS Bench, which is 90%, where it outperformed older GPT versions and most human analysts. Google has dropped something very interesting this week. Opel, a no-code builder that lets you describe, build, and run mini AI workflows, what they are calling is AI mini app. Think of it like a combination of Zapier and Make, but built natively on LLMs. You go to opel.withgoogle.com pick from one of their ready-made templates or just start from scratch. It builds the blocks generating search queries, fetching news, formatting results, and creating a shareable page. For example, someone builds a workflow where you enter a block topic and it does all the research, creates an outline, images, and writes the full post. And all of this is editable in a visual flow editor. You can remix any app tweak steps, and even give natural language edits like add a summary section and it will update the workflow automatically. It's not available in India yet, but this can become one of the Google's most powerful creator-facing AI tools. GitHub Spark is now live in public preview and it's probably the cleanest experience yet for going from idea to fully deployed applications. You describe what you want in natural language, in Spark spins up the repo, creates the front end and back end, hooks up a database and deploys it. Under the hood, it's powered by Claude Sonnet 4, but it's deeply integrated with GitHub Infra. So when it builds your application, it also sets up continuous integration and deployments, creates a code space, adds security tools like Dependabot, and even writes documentation. You can keep chatting with it to iterate further, add features, tweak logic, change design, or just open the code and do it manually. Over in China, Alibaba released two massive updates, Quen3 and Quen3 Coder. Quen3 is a general purpose language model with 235 billion parameters and a sparse Mo setup. It also has a massive 256,000 token context window, and it's licensed under Apache 2.0. So you can fine tune it, quantize it, or deploy it however you want without restrictions. But the real highlight is Quen3 Coder. This one's 480 billion parameters with 35 billion active. And it's designed for long form code generation and autonomous multi-step programming. That includes planning the task, writing codes, checking errors, and trying again. It also supports tool usage and can function inside agentic workflows. Some early tests shows it performing better than Meta's latest code llama and even rivaling property models in practical use. The fact that this is free to use, it gives devs teams a serious open alternative to closed models like GPT-4 or Claude for dev use. Walmart is reinventing retail with super agents. They are building four specialized AI agents one each for customers, employees, marketplace sellers, 
and internal dev teams. These AI agents will handle end-to-end -end tasks. For example, the customer agent called Sparky can already suggest product, summarize reviews, and reorder items. But it's about to get way smarter. Soon, Sparky will be able to plan an entire birthday party, picking a theme, ordering decoration and snacks, and even scanning your fridge with your phone's camera to suggest recipes with what you already have. Walmart is rethinking e-commerce from the ground up into a hands-free AI-first experience where you describe what you want and the agent figures out the rest. And while we don't have access to this yet, the bigger shift is clear. This is the direction retail is heading. Walmart's just going first. Both Google DeepMind and OpenAI hit gold medal level performances on the International Mathematical Olympiad. That's the same test where only 10 to 12% of the top high school maths competitors score gold. Google did this using a special version of Gemini called DeepThink, where the model runs inside the 4.5 hour exam time limits, generates full proofs, and the answers are evaluated by real judges. OpenAI did the same with GPT-4 Turbo and got independently graded. Google also hosted its IO Connect event in India this week, and the big highlights, they are rolling out Gemini 2.5 flash model with India-based hosting, which means faster responses and on-show data compliance for Indian developers and enterprises. They also added agentic AI features inside Firebase Studio. So if you are using Firebase to build applications, AI can now help scaffold workflows or generate backend logic without starting from scratch. There's also a new skill partnership with Unity to help Indian game developers build AI-driven games, probably a long-term play tied to mobile gaming growth in the region. On the startup side, Google is backing projects like Servum, Socket AI, and Bharat Gen, all building India native models and tools using the Gamma family. None of this went viral, but it's a strong signal. Google is investing deeply in regional AI infrastructure and trying to win dev mindshare in one of the fastest growing tech ecosystem. That's your AI download for the week. If you want deeper dives on any of these topics, drop a comment. And if you found this useful, you know what to do. Like, share, and I'll see you in the next one.